We're back on Inside Tennessee with our panel, Susan Richardson Williams. She's a Republican. Don Bosch is a Democrat. You know where they're coming from. <laughs> but they do actually agree sometimes, which is uh, pleasantly uh, surprising. <laughs> Usually just over the lunch choice. Yeah, <laughs> true. So what we want to get is your hot take on both the local, state, and national races you'll be watching on Tuesday night. Susan, let's start with you. Locally, uh, what race are you watching? Uh, well, two, the ones we've talked about earlier, 90 and 18, because those two are the type, you know, contested. Uh, certainly 90. That one, I think, is a toss-up right now, and I'm, I'm real curious how that one's going to turn turn out. Um, state. Um, not a lot happening. We've talked about the amendments. I'm curious about those. If we if they get enough votes to pass, um, Bill Lee uh, is running for governor again, and you know I don't even know who's opponent is. I, I do know it's a doctor. I think Don can talk about that. But you yes, know, he's a doctor. Kind he's of a like doctor. Your, your guy Manny Sefton. <laughs> well, so. uh, and then nationally. Oh my gosh, Georgia. I can hardly wait. Georgia and Pennsylvania are the two that I'm really curious about. And I think a month ago, I would have told you that Herschel Walker had no chance of winning. And I think that has changed. And I think it's a toss up, shockingly. But Let's I think start it there is. with you, Dunn, uh, nationally in, in that race in particular. So I, I actually think that it's not going to be, uh, look, they're all going to be close, but I think Raphael Warnock's going to win that race. And Susan and I, we obviously talk to different people in Georgia. <laughs> Uh, the people I'm talking to, some of which are Republicans, uh, feel like that Warnock is going to win. Uh, what I'm worried about is what we saw in 18 and certainly tragically saw in 16. We're not going to know a lot of these results on, on Tuesday night, but particularly the national results on Tuesday night. And there are going to be absentee ballots still being counted, uh, mail-ins, call it whatever you may. We saw in Georgia where the bigger county, the bigger sections, Fulton, DeKalb, the Atlanta area, it just takes longer to count those votes. And that, folks, that doesn't mean there's election fraud. It's just sheer mechanics. And so we need to be patient. We need to let the process play out. And we have good elections in this country, period. The election wasn't stolen from Trump. It was good in 18, and I believe it will be good now. State level, what are you watching? Uh, I'm, I'm watching to see, I do think Bill Lee will win, incumbents tend to win in his state, but I would predict he, he will not win by the margin that we're used to seeing and without with a democratic candidate that has a newcomer to politics he's run a strong campaign uh it uh, uh i think bill lee will win but not by the margin he's hoping locally uh same thing susan is uh, 18 and 90. Uh, i think gloria is going to win i think the race is going to be close with elaine davis uh and uh, uh you have to favor elaine i think slightly but it would not i would not be shocked whatsoever if she did not win that race. John North, building on Don's point, it, it may take not just days, but weeks in some cases to learn the results. And as Don mentioned, it is a function largely of mechanics. Some states don't allow their election commissions to start the vote count until mm -hmm. election day. Yeah, that's right. I, I, you, you know, all of this attention, all of this hype, fear, shines a light on how individual states do it. A lot of the people who are voting in these states don't understand the process and it just leads to confusion and misperceptions and no no race, no election's been stolen. It just has to get worked out. You've also looked locally at who is voting. The sad thing is this wave of young voters coming to the polls, at least from the numbers we have seen in Knox County, isn't holding true in the sense that they're not engaging. No. It, it, it hasn't they haven't been engaged and you know that's a little bit of a frustrating thing for leaders in both parties I think they would like to see more young people taking part I, that just may have to evolve mm -hmm. yeah. um, if, if we have time uh, 15 seconds. Uh, well I would say there are a lot of seniors that are voting I think they're pocketbook issues they're turning out the cost of living is too high you're gonna see a lot of seniors at the polls we'll be surprised you watch all right. Well, we appreciate both of you being here. We'll be back on uh, the election night to break it all down for you. In the meantime, if you need some research, head to our website, Inside Tennessee on WBIR.com, and you can learn more about the candidates and the issues. Thanks for watching. See you next week.